This is one of many works by Piranesi in which he included human figures in order to make a point. At one level they are realistic. They are not meant to give us an equivalent of a photographic record of scene, but to convey a deeper meaning. Here we see one of the great engineering works of the ancient Romans. About 398 BC, engineers had supervised tunnelling through a hillside to divert water from a lake near Castle Gandolfo, perhaps for irrigation or to reduce a malarial swamp. We are standing in front of an archway built into a hillside, an arch that frames the entrance to the tunnel. In the foreground on the right, a local fisherman and a grand tourist both gesture in admiration, or perhaps sheer wonder, at the mass of Roman work. The scholarly tourist has come with a friend. They are obviously both interested in Rome's classical past. But the other figure is a local fisherman who seems to be using space to shelter from the lakeside winds. As Piranesi exaggerates the scale in opposite directions, magnifying the Roman construction and diminishing the human figures, we see the remains of a world created by a race of giants in which pygmies now play. Some 18th century visitors to Rome were disappointed to find that in real life some of its ancient buildings were not quite as grand as they appeared in Piranesi's prints, prints they had already seen in their home countries. The dimensions of a structure such as this tunnel, bored for just under 1,400 metres or 1,500 yards through the hillside within a year, makes it easy to understand Piranesi's urge to underline the grandeur of the classical Roman heritage, even if this meant some artistic licence. Piranesi also had a well-informed interest in hydraulics. Before he came to Rome, he studied with a maternal uncle, Matteo Ducchesi, in Venice. His uncle was an engineer, one of several involved in creating the first walls to protect Venice from flooding from the sea.